Thank you. Indeed, three years ago, I was sitting right over there, listening to Willie Smith's talk about the struggle for survival of the orangutans, how their forest is disappearing, and most deforestation is illegal. You remember that talk? Some of you, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I remember also, I remember being there and thinking, we have to do something about it. And I was not the only one. Taking Global and Microsoft Partners in Learning have huge student networks. And their students decided they wanted to also to help save the orangutans and save the forest. And so started the Deforest Action Project. Then, Willy, then they contacted Willy and Willy contacted us because we had met here at the user conference. But how can we help millions of students save the orangutans and save the forest? Borneo is so far away for them. And sometimes the student feeling of what can I do about it can be overwhelming. For that, my company, Geodan, developed Earth Watchers. And this is Earth Watchers. Using ArcGIS server, we can access real-time data satellite data and monitor these forests in Borneo. There are many different satellite monitoring tools, but Earthwatchers is special. It's crowdsourcing. We divided the forest into millions of small parcels, and each student is responsible for monitoring one parcel. So by owning a piece of forest creates a feeling of belonging, of involvement, even of community. Because even though these, these students live very far away from each other, in Borneo, they are neighbors. But that's, let's do some monitoring now. I'm going to load the latest satellite image. So I'm going to load this one is a radar image from Terrasar. And let's also load an older image to compare. On the, on the latest image, we can see the forest that was there. And when you compare with the, sorry, on the older image, we can see the forest that was there. And when you compare with the latest image, we can see changes. The diverse forest has now become a palm oil monoculture. So I set my status to alert. And I can publish this on the social media so that the whole world can see it also. As in a community, I should also help my neighbors. So I go to my neighbor and we can talk and discuss about each other's forest. And I can also confirm or deconfirm their deforestation. Confirm. So peer review. And this is important because the most confirmed spots will then be ground checked by a team of volunteers. They are the eyes and ears of the students, and they report back what they see in the forest, like this geotech photo. And we are ready to watch over the whole world. Thank you. <laughs> now, the ground team is crucial for Earth Watchers. They work with the local populations, the local communities, to understand their needs and try to help. Here you see a meeting with the local Dayak tribe. Our team is giving them a paper map. This map is based on Earthwatchers data and student alerts. And the Dayak chief is now using that map in legal actions to protect his remaining forest. Isn't that incredible? Because <laughs> because the students are using real data. They learn about your special technology. They learn about the forest, about the local people. And they can act on a global issue. But, but we all can help. Developers, um, data providers, of course, educators. All of us together can help young people move from a feeling of what can I do about it to a feeling of involvement and action. Earth Watchers is about empowering future leaders to help save a species. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> You're a hero. Thank you. You're a hero, Eduardo. Great, isn't it? <laughs> uh,